we got as a hugger in the crowd tonight. <laughs> Lady back there likes to hug folks. <laughs> Hugged me, hugged the horse, hugged the back end of the horse. <laughs> Causing a little friction around here. She wanted to hug the robot, I said, can't hug the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Is hugging the robot uh, a kind of like one of those dirty sex phrases? Yeah, it's a like sex hugging thing, the yeah. robot? Yeah. <laughs> Done it many times. Uh, what's, what's, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, where are you from, Sarah? Um, right now, from Wildemar, California. Right now, from Wildemar? Yes. Why? <laughs> Why, are you uh, traveling? Are you rambling? Do you roam from time teaching, to time? Yeah, I was teaching there for a year and I'm going to Russia next year. You're going to Russia? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, that's going to be shut down, I'm afraid. <laughs> you could always go to uh, uh, Crimea. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's part of the Ukraine. Oh, well, it used to be part of it. It's right, well, it's Russia. Yeah, no, it's Russia now. Yes. Do you speak Russian? Uh, yet. <laughs> you seem good. good. That was good, yeah. So, uh, you're a hugger. Are you a very demonstrative person? Sometimes. What do you teach, by the way? I teach science and um, math, algebra. Oh, science, eh? One of them. <laughs> One of them that believes in the sciences. I <laughs> No, so do I. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, you, it, uh, what grades do you teach? High school, freshman. Oh, right. I don't know what that is, because I was finished by then. I imagine so were your teachers. Yeah, oh, they were, yeah. Well, my teachers were more uh, alcoholic child abusers. What about you? I try not to be. Well, that's always good not to be. I think it's unpopular in teaching now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, oh yes, if you can answer a question correctly about science, okay. uh, we'll send you to a swanky restaurant. What one, Michael? Ooh. Mastro's Steakhouse. Mastro's Steakhouse. Do you enjoy uh, the... Um, <laughs> are you a vegetarian? No. Good, uh, because it's a steakhouse and there'll be plenty of meat. <laughs> Not you, though, right? Hmm. Do you believe this? Is that like hugging the robot? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the question. Um, what is the boiling point of... Please say water. No, I'm not going to say water. <laughs> I'm going to say what is the boiling point of... Um, Jeff, what is the boiling point of what? What is the boiling point of water? That's what you said. <laughs> Do you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit? That's one of those sex things. Would somebody ask you that? <laughs> Well, give it to us in both. Give it in both, yeah. He, he likes it both ways. It's, yeah. It's 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius? Fahrenheit. And what Fahrenheit? 212. Is the correct answer. Yeah. You're going to vote for Steakhouse. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Please let your applause die away quite. Oh my God, it's gone! It's gone! I was doing, and then Bob was like, "Hooray!" 
Hey, Bob! <laughs> okay, start. Start now, foreigner. <laughs> Dance for us, fool. Entertain us, monkey boy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm well, saying you're entertain in, you're us. Yeah, entertain I'm saying that to monkey you, boy? Yeah, I like you're that. You're calling me monkey boy? Where did you get that tie? I <laughs> borrowed it from you. I borrowed yeah. it from you. <laughs> when I woke up this morning. You look, you look like a pimp. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm the pimp and you're my... <laughs> Whoa. Jeffrey Peterson! Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> However true that may be, yeah, it hurts. Right, yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs>Uh, congratulations to the LA Kings who made it into the Stanley Cup Finals. Now everyone in LA can pretend they're hockey fans. <laughs> oh, I've been into hockey for years. <laughs> Is that the one with the ice? <laughs> can you do it with kale? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do this. As soon as I get a free week, I'm going to get this done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like Bruce Jenner coming yeah. out here. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday the Kings beat the Chicago Blackhawks, but I don't feel don't don't feel bad for the Chicago fans. You've still got the Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Good night, Chicago. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you hear the, the King Juan Carlos, uh, the King of Spain, has announced he's abdicating the throne? I thought Juan Carlos was that one, guy in The Bachelor everyone hated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, King Juan Carlos is stepping down so his son can take over. Today in England, Prince Charles said, hint, hint, mother. <laughs> Drink your juice, mother. <laughs> A new study says that ignoring your co-workers is worse than bullying them. What do you think about that? <laughs> saying is that this is an audience that enjoys me being beat up by a robot. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like, this is what makes you happy, gets you a round of applause when the robot ignores me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad day, for, did you ignore me again? No, 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 no. It's a bad day for Miley Cyrus. Someone broke into her house while she was on tour and they stole her car. Uh, police are looking for a vehicle which is described as having no top and a whole lot of junk shaking around in the trunk. <laughs> Think that's the car we're talking yeah. about, isn't it? <laughs> In other, you know, junior rapscallion news, Justin Bieber was caught on tape making a racist joke. Now, in Bieber's defense, the video was made when he was young and stupid, so it was kind of like last week or something. Anyway, the <laughs> <laughs> believers are going crazy Ooh, right now! Man. We're going crazy! We hate you! We hate you, foreign grandpa figure! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm a foreign grandpa figure that's to the you, believers. That's you, yeah. yeah. Anyway, the, since word of this got out, uh, Bieber's received a ton of criticism and also an Instagram request from Donald Sterling. <laughs> 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 I think Justin Bieber should receive the same punishment as Donald Sterling. That's right, someone should give him two billion dollars. <laughs> We're learning more about the sale of the LA Clippers. In, uh, you know, insiders are saying it came down to a bidding war between Steve Ballmer and Oprah. I'll let you guess who Donald Sterling was rooting for. <laughs> Probably Oprah. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Racist, racist. But at, at the weekend, Donald Sterling attended an African-American church service. People were shocked. <laughs> and I think I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Donald Sterling at an African-American church service. It's like, it's like seeing Mel Gibson at a Hanukkah party, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, you, you got one? Yeah, that's like seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger at an acting class. Right, okay. What? What? <laughs> All right, it's like, it's like seeing the Duck Dynasty guys at a gay pride parade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like seeing Taylor Swift in a long-term relationship. Oh, oh, Jeff, Ray. The hell, man. Jeff. The hell. Jeff. <laughs>
Any more? No, you got one? Go ahead. Uh, it's like seeing the Lakers in the NBA final. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't make those jokes, Craig. Okay. You know, a man was attacked by a gigantic swarm of bees in the town of Beeville in Texas. No, the town's called Beeville, and he was attacked by bees. The man's doing okay, but he's rethinking his plans to move to the nearby town of East Balkit. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. I changed the name of the yeah, town. There's that's no town called East Ball Kick. I don't think, stuff. anyway. <laughs> so good. But it's very funny. You like that one? That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good yeah. one. Well, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. You want to go out on top. <laughs> if I wanted to go out on top, I'd have quit after the Drew Carey show. <laughs> What the hell? We're taking a commercial break. We'll be right back. Jeff train. What kind of a train is it, Jeff? It's a steam train. A steam train? And what town are you going to in your steam train? I'm heading straight to Cleveland. It's uh, Big Al. How you doing? Oh, Big Al. How you uh, been? Big how you Al been? from where, Vegas? Yeah, from Vegas, from the Venetian. Venetian, yeah. How you doing? The Venetian in Vegas? You sound exactly like Al, who works at the Venetian. Yeah, yeah it's me. Yeah, how you doing? I'm just making sure there's no trouble, everything's all right, security's all right. You know, I'm just taking care of it. How you doing? How you yeah, doing? That's fine. How you doing? You're doing good. Good show. It's a pretty good show, you know. Although, I got to tell you, uh, one time I saw uh, uh, Carrot Top. Boy, he's funny. He's very funny. He's very funny. <laughs> I mean, you're good, but he's really funny. He really has him rolling the eyes. I got to tell you. I'm still here. <laughs> I thought for a minute, you know what I thought it was? Uh oh, that, oh, I know, I know. Yeah. The Jay Leno fly. The Jay Leno fly. That's what I thought was going to happen. Time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from America's favorite late night foreign grandpa figure, Craig Ferguson. Plus email. This is from uh, Takumi in Sendai in Japan. Oh, Japan. Wow. Oh. I did, well, yes, I knew we were on in Japan. Have you got the, the, the thing from... Yeah, play the thing. This is us in Japan. Super happy fun time battle with robot. Da, da, da. Great. <laughs> this show actually does air in That's Japan. That's true. That's true, yes. <laughs> Jeff, bow. Don't be rude to our Japanese I'm not audience. able to bow, you jackass. <laughs> anyway, Takumi says, Craig, we just started viewing your program and do not understand the photo of the Beatles' Paul McCartney. Can you help? Well, uh, do we have a photograph of Paul McCartney? Yeah. I, I failed to see what the problem would be. It's <laughs> just simply a photograph of Paul McCartney. Yeah. I'll tell you why I keep doing that. When, how long ago was it, Michael? About nine years ago? Nine, nine and a half years ago, when this show first started, the Los Angeles Times gave us a terrible review in which they said, and they continually show a picture of Angela Lansbury, say it's a picture of Paul McCartney, uh, without any apparent irony. 
So, uh, we've been doing it at least once a week. <laughs> Ever since. Yeah. Without, without any apparent irony. <laughs> In your face, now a website. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they've been pretty nice to us since. It was just yeah, once. No. I, 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 do, I take resentments pretty easily. I, uh, do you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I get worked up. I get worked up. You get worked up? You, get, get, you do, don't you? You go crazy. You I go on your Twitter it. and you look for negative comments. Oh, I try to fight them. people, man. I, I, yeah, I fight them. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? I can't tweet. I can't even work my arms. Yeah, uh, well. Do you tweet? What's your, what's your tweet name? I don't understand what that means. What does that it's, mean? It's, uh, I just did a bump of cocaine. Yeah, that's his Twitter handle. Yeah. Hello? Hello? It's K-Log, K-L-O-G, Kenny Loggins Radio all day, all night. You're the big winner. Who's this? Who's this? It's, uh, Craig. <laughs> oh, yeah, Craig. Oh, yeah. Kenny Loggins. Here's Danger Zone. <laughs> the hell was that? Man? I think that was some Kenny Loggins Radio was weird. I guess you, you won something. You hung up on him. That's did I? Yeah. Are you still there? I'm still here, man. Oh, Kenny uh, Loggins. What did oh, I yeah. win? You win dinner for two, you and Kenny Loggins, an intimate dinner, just you and Kenny. Oh! I don't want that. Do I met Kenny Loggins once? Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah what he happened? He's kind of a jerk. Is that right? Yeah. Kenny Loggins? Yeah, I, think he, I don't think he is a jerk. I think he was just tired and I was in his way, and he was like, will you please get out of my house? <laughs> so, so you broke, you broke into Kenny Loggins' house? Broken's a very extreme way of saying it. I just, I, I didn't break. The door was open. I uh, wandered in. Maybe you should have him uh, on the show and apologize to him. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Kenny Loggins. I didn't know this is what you sound like. Yeah, I, I assume this is what I sound like. Uh, who can say for sure? Well, it was kind of a last-minute choice, so I thought I'd just go with this voice. I think it's a pretty good choice. You Thanks, sound man. fabulous, Kenny Thanks, Loggins. Oh, uh, well, I'm all right. Ain't nobody worry about me. Where are you going right now? Just gonna get footloose. <laughs> Might kick off my Sunday shoes. <laughs> that was... <laughs> all right, all right, I don't know. Oh, man. Wow. Weird. Ah. Strange. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Who's this? Hey, Craig, hang up the phone. I'm trying to make a call. Uh, who's trying to make a call? It's Mark. Hang up the phone. I'm trying to make a call. M Mark? Yeah, I'm trying to make a call, man. <laughs> who's Mark? I'm just, I'm, I'm back here. I'm trying to make a call, man. You picked up the phone. I'm trying to order pizza for everybody. Wait, wait, wait. It's you, isn't it, Miriam? <laughs> you know it is, sonny boy. I knew it was you. I told you never told me, you <laughs> old bitch. I hate you. <laughs> Oh. Did someone make America's late night foreign grandpa figure mad? <sighs> Stop calling me, Miriam! Sissy boy. tonight is an American comedy legend. His classic series, The Bob Newhart Show, is just released on DVD. Take a look at this. Bob
Happens today, Bob. <laughs> you know, I have, first of all, I want to say, hi, Bob. That's very important for yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Hi. Uh, <laughs> And then I, uh, I, I was just looking at the cover of the, um, of the DVD box, yeah. and you're wearing the same jacket, Bob. <laughs> Are you? No, this that's, is a... Yeah, that's it, because I, I have another one, and I could have worn that, you know, but... Yeah. No, it's all right. This is, the, this, is the, this is the series when you were the psychotherapist. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Innkeeper series. No, no, no. All right, no. that's coming out later. That was, see, uh, the Innkeeper was Newhart. This is... Oh, that's the Bob, Bob Newhart show. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> Man. All right, Do you, did you insist on calling the shows after your name, or was that the network? No, I, no, I insisted on it, because... <laughs> no, because I didn't want to get lost, you know? I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be the, the Fred Amsterdam show. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Amsterdam, sadly... Yeah, I know, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, of course, uh, you're good friends with uh, Don Rickles, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I, I haven't seen Rickles for, for a while. I think he's not speaking to me. Well, you just had that big thing on Spike. Yeah, yeah, the big, uh, the big like a big tribute event to him. You, you did a... You said you were on tape, right? Oh, was I? Oh, well, then that's fine. No. <laughs> were you there? No, I wasn't there. I had to, I was in Seattle with, uh, uh, but I, I did a thing that, that they a tape thing. A tape, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Because you, you and Rickles have been friends for since well a long time ago. Really, well, I don't want to say maybe the fifties. No, no, no. I, I no, the, I, the I, 90s. I, would, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known anybody in the fifties. So. Because the, fir uh, the first record I made in 1960, so... Really? That, yeah. I, um, because I used to, it used to be when you were on an airplane, the only thing you could hear on an airplane was your comedy albums. Because, you know, it was, I've heard them a lot, Bob. Yes. <laughs> Introducing tobacco to civilization, That's I've fun. heard that so They're many damn around, times. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it more than you. <laughs> Do you, I, you know, I did a command performance one time. For the royal family? Yeah, for the royal in 1964. Uh, I was in. I was doing a show in New York with uh, Carol Burnett, uh, Katerina Valenti, John Davidson, and I was invited to do the command performance. And I did the. Uh, they wanted me to do uh, the driving instructor. Right. You know, so, and uh, you can see how familiar they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what happened? One guy did this. One guy went, and they went. <laughs> <laughs> They all looked at yeah, him yeah, like, he... hey, stop it. Bob's talking. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I did this, the, this routine on the driving instructor. I'm, in, I'm instructing this woman how to drive. So I, I sit down and I'm going, uh, oh, Mrs. Webb, I noticed you've had one listen to her already. And then I realize, wait a minute, you're in London. Mrs. Webb's over here. <laughs> oh, I noticed you've had one listen to her. <laughs> Good. And was it the was it the Queen that was the there? The Queen was there. Did you yeah. meet her afterwards? Oh, well, yeah, you meet her on the stairs. Have you met her? No. Oh. Are you kidding me, Bob? <laughs> no, man. I, I've done too many Queen jokes here. Oh. <laughs> it's the same one though, the same Queen. The same joke as well. But... <laughs> same Queen though. Yeah. She was there for a long I time. Mean, it, it was it was uh, odd. Because, you know, you're used to a certain rhythm, you know, when you've done a routine after a while. But there was like a pause. Like I would say, you know, when I'd get to a, a joke and then there'd be a pause and then there'd be laughter. And then there'd be pause and then there'd be a laughter. And I realized what was happening was the audience was sitting and then they'd look at the royal box. And if she was laughing, then they'd start laughing. So, <laughs> so there was... Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah, really. That's what yeah. people do with a warm-up comedian here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, so you met her afterwards, but she's like, very nice to meet you, Mr. Newhart. Yes, yes, yes. No, she was very nice, and uh, I was thrilled. I never thought I'd, I'd meet a queen, you know. <laughs> If you're going to leave low-hanging fruit like that hanging around, <laughs> come on, Bob. 
So, uh, you know the, the, drink, the high bob drinking game. I played that a lot. Everybody used to play high bob. I didn't know it was international. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, in Scotland, uh, the rules are you don't, uh, the, your show doesn't actually have to be on. Oh. <laughs> you, do, you go out to the bar, you shout high bob and just start drinking. Okay. Uh, okay. Slightly different rules. Yeah, people used to do it. They did it with all the shows. Right? Did you uh, know about it when you were making the show? No, I found, I found out after, after the show went off. It was on six years. And, uh, and, and then I found out, I, I heard it started at uh, Southern Methodist University. I hope it did. Right, it, well, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, I mean, they liked the show. Sure. It was a compliment to the show. Absolutely, it's a great show. One of the greatest sitcoms ever. Maybe, you know, that and uh, Mary's show, that's it. The other two. <laughs> I mean, you can hear. <laughs> when, did, when did this go off the air? When did this go off the air? Yeah, this is uh, like... 1978. So it went off there in 78, and you hear there's like... Most of these people were born in 1978. I am being so nice to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, they still... Because it's, it's, a, it's a classic piece of work. Were you aware of it at the time? Were you aware of what you were doing? Was Well, it, we were part of that, that lineup. Um, it was all in the family. It was Saturday night on CBS. Uh, all in the family, MASH, Mary Tyler Moore, us, and Carl Burnett. That's a pretty strong lineup. Yeah. I think CBS would be pretty happy to have that <laughs> ring right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? You should maybe come back and do CSI Bob Newhart. <laughs> That would work. Thank you. You, you, could, you could solve a few crimes, have a few laughs. <laughs> I'd enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> With, uh, Bob Newhart and um, we're out of time Bob <laughs> okay <laughs> we're not really but you, you and I both tend to take a lot of time to get things done so I thought if I introduce the we're out of time concept now yeah it'll help things along <laughs> when the time arrives so I should just stay here or <laughs> I, I, I think I speak for everyone watching this show is that they'd prefer if you stayed and I, and I left <laughs> for the rest of the show <laughs> Might be a good... I mean, this chair's coming up, Bob. You ever think about it? <laughs> Talk show? Why not? No, I filled in for Johnny. I, 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 I'll tell you a story. Uh, I was kind of being groomed. NBC was having uh, one of their arguments with Johnny about salary, and they said, that's it. This was like 1970. And they right. said, that's it. We're not... He's not getting... You know, he, I think he left in 1990. So. Yeah, yeah. 90, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, th th they were grooming a lot of people. I did it for three weeks in New York. I filled in for Johnny, uh, guest host. And at the end of the three weeks, I was a blithering idiot. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it is... No, no. <laughs> No, it, it is the toughest yeah. job in the world. It's the toughest job in the world, and you did, what, 10 years? More? 10 years, 10, 10 years. years, yeah. But I only, I only, yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> but I get the, uh, I get the blithering idiot thing. You do, it, you do it for a while, and you just, like, I find myself now talking to people, like, if I'm at a party or something, I'm like, uh-huh, and where did you meet your husband? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> And then, after a while, I just throw to a commercial and leave. Yes. <laughs> Nuts. Bob, it's lovely to see you. I'm very glad that this is coming out in a concise form, that I can purchase it at my local DVD emporium. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to finally meet you. The great Bob Newhart, everybody. <laughs> If me and the horse 
can keep time, then you guys can keep time too. Let's start it again. And welcome back, studio audience, with your fabulous sense of rhythm. <laughs> My next guest is a beautiful and talented actress. She's in The House of Cards, season two, which is on Netflix. I've seen it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take a look at this. And what's your next move? Trying to figure out how to respond to this. I got it a couple hours ago. I think he's setting her up. I know how to handle him. The less he knows, the better. We might learn something. Not with him calling the shots. I'm choosing the place. As if that makes a difference. I'm not gonna f him. Just talk to him. I wonder what that word was. <laughs> I've watched that entire series. There's plenty of clips you could have chosen that didn't have that, you know, that word in it. <laughs> it was uh oh, by the way. <laughs> And now you know. <laughs> Constant Zimmer, everybody. Constant Zimmer. Great, I love oh, your dress. It's very thanks. kind of like animally, but nightclub. Right. I, don't you go for that when you yeah. go out? Yeah, I want to look like too. Gurr, but hi. Right. I don't want to be mistaken for a cougar. Right? No, I don't think anyone would make that mistake. No way. <laughs> would you, why would you even say that? This, by the way, is my favorite. With that? Throwing that away? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just to express my contempt for the entire medium. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's all. That's, yeah. I like it. I yeah, like it's it a, a kind lot. of deconstructive thing. It's fine. It is. You're like, you know what? Just Tutsi frutzi. Right? I didn't say it. This is CBS. You can't even <laughs> think it. <laughs> Hey, um, congratulations on House of Cards. I've seen both series now. Good Lord. Uh, ah, that's a great you. show. That is a great show. Thank you. I mean, amazing. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of an incredible thing to be a part of. No matter how big or small the role is on that show, it's just, it's phenomenal. Well, it's the, a creepy world. It's a creepy world. It is, but... No, I wasn't talking about your show. Creepy. I'm just saying this it's world. a creepy world. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do. I, I, I actually feel bad saying, like, thank you when someone says, oh, my God, the show's amazing. Because I know it's not just me, but I'm, I mean, I'm glad that I'm on it. Yeah. So I, I yes, See, thank one you. day I'm going to be on a good show, and then I'm just going to go, thank you, everybody. You yeah. Well, it's hard. It's very hard to take credit for, like, something. Do you have so difficulty accepting compliments? Oh, really? Did you notice that that quickly? Yeah, yeah a little yes, bit. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Well, I'm gonna, let's see. Can I sit up here and like cross legged? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. You look good. Sorry. Hey. Want to kick off your shoes? And just, yes. Yeah, go on. Kick them off. Relax a little. There you go. Okay. All right. Now. All right. All right. So you you have difficulty taking compliments. I do. Yeah? I do. Do you think you're a perfectionist? Maybe. Uh, no. I just think I'm really insecure. <laughs> well, but an insecure person would enjoy compliments that would help them i see i have a theory that people that can't accept compliments are actually experiencing a sort of reverse narcissism it's sort of frowning you at yourself in the pool uh-oh <laughs> hmm. that's, that's <laughs> by the way frowning at myself in the pool yeah yeah got it in the reflection of myself. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not like pictures of me in a bathing suit. Well, that's a kind of the same thing. <laughs> Although, if you have any pictures of you in a bathing suit, I'll take them, and maybe I can frown at them too. Okay, see? I'd be like... Right. I'd be like, damn! Like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then I would say, oh, do you think so? 
or is it? Do I and then I'd okay? go, you look so great. And then you'd go, no, like yeah. that. See, I would, I would. <laughs> but you're saying I shouldn't do that. I should just say thank you. I'm not saying you. should or shouldn't. I merely point out there is no right or wrong here. How you feel is how you feel. It is a Nietzschean concept. You are beyond good and evil when it is inside here. <laughs> it is your actions. Your actions become, have a moral component, but your thoughts do not. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oops, daddy turned up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, except I, I know. My dad's German, so I don't really think that... Oh, here we go. Yes. What do I do? One thing, we are German here. Oh. Do you speak German? I do speak German. <laughs> do you really? I do. Except so do my I. dad thinks I don't. Your dad thinks you don't speak German? Yeah, because I don't speak it all the time. He thinks that I just don't speak it anymore, even though I do. I see. Yes. Mm. When do you speak it? <laughs> when I'm forced to speak it. Proceed. Oh, oh no! <laughs> so I can't speak German or French, but what I do is I pretend I can by doing the accent. Right. And when you travel to the country, that's what people love. Oh, they, yes. That's very so true. If you meet German people and go, oh, hello, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> that's not German, by the way, but that's good. Do it no, again. Uh, do well, a V. Do... Make your W a V. Okay. <laughs> I, don't have a, uh, I don't have a V to say at the moment yet. I need a word to arrive where I'm saying V, like Venus Nitschel. Perhaps. Oh, yes. see? There you go. What part of Germany are your family from? Uh, from, well, when I went, I used to go to Germany every summer for mm. six weeks, from like age four until age 18. And? And we would go to a little tiny town called Bad Schwartau, Oh, yes, near Kopenfarten. I yeah. know exactly where. <laughs> It's yeah. like whenever somebody speaks another language and then they have to speak German, they go right into that dialect. Well, you have to. Yeah, I you mean, can't when go, you go like Budschwartau. You have to go Budschwartau. Budschwartau. Right, see? You sound German. See. Si. See. Si. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So is it in the north or the south? Uh, it's in the north. It was a little tiny town just south of Hamburg. Oh, but right. Hamburg is north. Right. Right. Um, yeah, it's it's where they make the Schwartauer jam. Oh, that's the I'm jam sure I love. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you can get me some Schwartauer jam, that's right. I would look at another jam. No. <laughs> you wouldn't. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, no, it's very good. I can't believe we're out of time already. It seems wrong what? to me. Yeah. We no. didn't even talk about anything. Well, I know. What do you want? <laughs> well, then in that case, it's a very successful <laughs> appearance on this show. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have for this evening. <laughs> Jeff, it's time for us to go home, and what do we do when we go home? We like to do more cushion for the pushin', yeah. <laughs> what he means is we put on our slippers. <laughs> Good night, everybody.